The gentlewoman is recognized. Madam Speaker, we have heard heartfelt discussions today about how federal taxpayer dollars should be targeted towards poverty assistance. I am also concerned about federal agencies' current ability to administer federal programs efficiently and effectively. Under the pandemic, we witnessed an unprecedented reliance on telework across the federal government. This reliance on telework has been to the detriment of the nation's taxpayers who rely on federal agencies. These are our constituents who are struggling to face out of control spending, inflation, scarcity of goods, and other hardships while federal workers receive perk after perk from Democrats and Congress. My House colleagues are all aware of the problems their constituents have faced getting federal agencies to process necessary paperwork. There are numerous examples of backlogs at agencies like Social Security and the Inter Internal Revenue Service. In my own district, energy producers are struggling to get permits to drill approved, approved permits due, to part, due, part into, due in part to Bureau of Land Management field offices only having 25% of their staff in the office at one time. And even our veterans have been facing trouble accessing records of their services, receive their service to receive the medical care and benefits they are entitled to. Let's be clear. Federal employees not being in the workplace has hurt the government's ability to achieve its mission. House Republicans have fought hard to find out just how much expanded telework has hurt agencies' ability to deliver services to our constituents. And we have tried to get this information, but to no avail. Recently, the House Oversight Committee Ranking Member James Comer wrote to the administration requesting information on federal workforce return to work policies. And last year, my colleague Jody Heiss, the Ranking Member of the House Oversight Committee on Government Operations, led oversight letters to the Inspectors General of the largest agencies requesting details on how telework has impacted agency missions. The committee has not received adequate responses to our inquiries. We will offer a solution to this problem as a motion to recommit. If we adopt the motion to recommit, we will instruct the Committee on Oversight and Reform to consider an amendment to require federal agencies to immediately return to pre-pandemic levels of telework. The amendment would also require a government-wide review of pandemic-era teleworking policies. And finally, it would prevent the administration from locking in higher levels of telework until Congress receives detailed plans on how agency mission performance would be impacted. These needed reforms will be included in my bill, the Show Up Act, which I am introducing later this week. It is time to get U.S. government back to work for the American people. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of the amendment in the record immediately prior to the vote on the motion to recommit. Without objection. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields, the gentleman reserves. Uh, Madam Speaker, if the gentleman from Kentucky has no further speakers, I am prepared to close. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Kentucky. Madam Speaker, I'm prepared to close. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, I have no further.